Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today to talk about sort of quarterly favorites. I don't know if it's exactly three months since I last did this, um, but I just wanna talk about some products, some general beauty products um, that I have been thoroughly enjoying recently. A few of these I've talked about before, so um, in reviews, uh, or I might not talk too in depth about because I have done full reviews. Um, and other things I just, haven't mentioned at all and they're so random that I probably wouldn't talk about them unless it was in sort of a recap like this. Um, so anyway, let's start with what I'm wearing on my eyes because I think it is gorgeous. I did do a full review of this and I love it. It's a Glaminatrix Nearly Natural Palette. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So it's nearly natural. It's not quite a traditional nude palette. There's some mauvey tones, there's some grayish tones, there's some greeny tones. Um, the shimmers are this beautiful sort of sparkly shimmer. I just love it. It performs really well. It takes you from day to night. You can get these really like intense, gorgeous looks really easily, which is what I like. I like a really impactful, gorgeous look that makes you feel confident. And whether it's like super paired back and nude or whether it's a bit more glam like this, um, makes you feel like you've, you're looking good but really not much effort. I love this. The tones are perfect, greens, mauves, oh, everything. And then you have the more traditional sort of nudes. I, I love this. This palette is fantastic. I will leave my full review where I think I did six or seven looks, including this last one. Um, I'll leave that link down below, but that is definitely my favorite palette of the moment. I think it's stunning, absolutely stunning. All right, let's just start with makeup because I'm wearing it, so why not? Um, I wanna talk about this lip oil from Sigma. This is currently in my project pan. I love it. I've got it on today. It's the most beautiful, comfortable, wet look, gorgeous, right amount of color. So it gives you a little bit of color, but not like I'm wearing a lot of color on my lips. Um, it's not a bold nude. It's this beautiful sort of mauve color. Uh, again, I'm panning it, so I'm using it up and I've been using it pretty much every day or multiple times a day and it is just, enjoyable. So I think this is a good example of um, liking a product because I did test it in my Project Apocalypse series um, and then I decided look it's it's the perfect tone for winter um, and it's just something that I can use really easily so I'll put it in my project pan but I think it's a good example of if you make yourself use something daily sometimes you love it even more than you realized you did so that's a good example of this. It's going to be sad to see it go but I have two other shades um, and I think by the time this one goes I'll sort of transition into one that's more of like a spring shade and I've got like a summer shade and I can wear this for ages so yeah I love this I think it's a great um alternative to a lip gloss because it's very glossy it's very high shine it's very comfortable fades down really nicely as well but it does have um things like jojoba oil sunflower seed oil and vitamin e so it's a little bit more nourishing great for winter I love it I've been enjoying that a lot I haven't been buying too many lipsticks because I've got so many um, and I have been doing my Project Apocalypse series where I'm trying to whittle down my collection. But recently um, I wanted to try a few Flower Beauty products because they were on sale. I think it was 40% off or 50% off in Chemist Warehouse and I picked up a couple of lipsticks. I did pick up a couple of other things as well. Let me know if you want to see a sort of demo. Um, I picked up a foundation, a highlighter, eyeshadow quad, and I think these, oh, and also I've got a cheek cream product. So I can do a sort of semi full face, not not quite, but almost. Uh, anyway, let me know if you want to see that. But the things that have stood out as being products that I've been reaching for fairly regularly are actually the lipsticks. So if you want a nice affordable lipstick, these Petal Pout Lip Colors by Flower Beauty are really, really lovely, um, really comfortable, um, and they wear really beautifully. Okay, I do have two pinks, so pig pink pigment tends to wear really well and these do tend to stain which is great because it lasts all day i've got the shade pink orchid which is a matte this one i thought look i didn't actually swatch this in store and i was a little bit disappointed because it's not as bright as i want it to be um but it is one that i've gone back for like gone back to use multiple times because it does fade down really beautifully on the lips it leaves this pink sort of stain and it's just a gorgeous color and it's f like a nice alternative to a red lip like a bright red lip in winter so i've been using that quite a lot surprisingly another one that i've been using quite a lot and these are the only two shades that i picked up um this is uh, ruby rouge and it's a cream finish this one's more it looks red on camera but it is in person more of a like a magenta pink 
I love it. It's so gorgeous. On me, on the lips, um, I think in person, in daylight, it looks more like a nice dark pink. Um, but inside or when it's darker, it just looks like a really cool toned red, which is really pretty. So if I actually smear that out, you can see that it does have these sort of magenta tones to it. And you can actually blend it out and make it look a bit more like a berry stain. This one is more of, yeah, a brighter Barbie pink. So they're both pinks, but they both look very different on the lips and they're really nice formula. And I think these came down to like in Australia, like $6 or something. So really lovely quality, really lovely shades and really affordable. Last makeup item is going to be this e.l.f. finishing powder. Um, a few weeks ago, I, well, about a month ago or something, I bought a full face of e.l.f. makeup and I've been trying it out for the past few weeks. I will do favorites and fails of the products I've tried because there are some favorites and there are definitely some fails. So some e.l.f. products like I've been initially impressed by and I'm like, this is nice product. Um, but then I find flaws with it over time and I'm like, it's not the best. And maybe for the price, I can actually get something better. Um, and then there's other products that I'm like, oh yeah, this is fine. It's middle of the road, fine. This is probably the product that I find consistently impresses me. It's the Halo Glow Setting Powder. Now I have oily skin, so I have to set my base. Otherwise my makeup literally slips off my face. I can like not set my foundation or not set my tinted moisturizer, whatever it happens to be. And I find that within an hour, like a lot of it has worn off or transferred off because it just, it needs something to stick, like set down to my skin because I do have that oily layer underneath. So I need to set my base. But the problem with setting powders is they're always matte. They're always matte. Um, I find to get the best longevity out of a foundation, you have to set it with a powder that is a matte finish. Now, Having oily skin, I don't always want to have a matte finish. Yes, throughout the day, my oils are going to come through and I'm going to get a dewier finish throughout the day, but that doesn't mean I need the finish to be entirely matte. So it's really nice to see that they've brought out what is essentially their matte setting powder, but it's got a little bit of a luminosity to it. So there's a little bit of like micro fine sheen to it. It doesn't look sparkly, um, but it adds a bit of a glow to the skin. This is really, really lovely. So it sets your base, sets it nicely, but it gives you like at the moment, I don't have any highlighter on. This is just my normal dew that comes through, but that's the sort of effect that you'll get from this. So it maintains that. Um, you can set your base, but it maintains this sort of um, healthy glow that I think is really, really gorgeous. And it looks a lot more natural and a lot more healthier than just packing on um, matte powder. So I think this is really great. In Australia, I think it's $20 full price. Look, it's not the cheapest. I feel like the good e.l.f. based products are quite expensive in Australia, but I definitely think it's worth the 20 bucks. And of course you can probably find it on sale occasionally. Um, I'm gonna find myself probably picking up a few of these when I see them on sale because I think it's a great alternative to a matte setting powder. Sets, makes your makeup last longer, but gives you a bit of a glow that's not too full on. Now I wanted to mention that that concept isn't completely unique. Like in my collection, I've got, of course, Hourglass. This is the ambient lighting powder in dim light. This gives you a similar glow, sort of a healthy glow. Um, but I feel like this is so finely milled and it's not actually designed to set. It's designed to just sort of make your skin look a bit more blurred. And I find that with this, so I've got it here. So it looks like you can catch the light slightly and you can see how it sort of blurs my hand a little bit. Beautiful concept. But for me to wear this, I have to set my base with a setting powder and then apply this over the top. So it's an extra step that I can't be bothered doing ever. Um, so for me, this is not great for setting my base. This is like a finishing powder, not a setting powder. Um, same goes for the Too Faced. This is the Turn Up The Light highlighting palette. It's got two highlighters and a soft focus powder. So the middle one is a soft focus powder. Again, really beautiful. Gives you that sort of glow effect to the skin. But again, this is not, this is so firmly pressed. You don't pick up much. It doesn't actually set your base properly. This is an additional layer. Um, and again, it's something that I can use up in the future. You probably can't see it, but I can use up in the future, but it's just something that I wish 
would also set. One that's a higher end loose powder, so more this kind of concept where it is supposed to be a setting powder, but it does have a luminosity to it, is by Laura Mercier. This is a translucent loose setting powder in Glow. Um, and again, this, the concept sounds fantastic. It's the same concept where, you know, you set your base, but you have a bit of a luminosity. But the difference is this is like legit a subtle highlighter all over your face. Look, to get a full effect, I'm actually going to wipe my hand, put one swatch of this and one swatch of this, and you can hopefully see the difference in the finish. All right, so I've built them up really heavily. This is the e.l.f. one, which is in light. You can also get medium and maybe other shades. And this is the Laura Mercier one. So you can see it's got this gold shimmer that literally highlights your whole face. Um, and it does look sparkly. Whereas if you blend out this one, which feels matte, it feels soft. It feels like it's going to blur pores and it's matte. But you can see it picks up a bit of a sheen, but it's not sparkly. So this is 20 bucks. I think this is like 50 something, 60 bucks in Australia. And to me, this is a highlighter. This is a gorgeous setting glowy powder um, that just makes everything look smooth, but everything look healthier. So um, yeah, I feel like this is quite unique, especially for the price point. It's gorgeous. So yeah, I think that's definitely going to be a staple in my collection and probably in summer I might even try like the medium shade because I think it's a beautiful powder. Makeup-ish, um, I'm going to talk about my new Inglot Duraline. I finally bought another one. I had a fresh one that I bought at the end of last year, but I lost it. I didn't know where it went. I think I may have accidentally thrown it out in like my empties or something. I don't know. I'm really disappointed, but I bought a new one finally. This stuff, it's such a game changer. Like I don't use it every day, obviously, but I need it in my life. There's gel liners. There's, you can rehydrate mascaras. Um, you can rehydrate gel um, brow products if you want to. Um, make a pigment like a paint you can use this I think it's fantastic I've had a few people comment things like is this just a, an oil like just an oil I have tried face oils I've tried to rehydrate um, sort of like gel liners and stuff with face oils they actually separate um, so they don't mix in with the product and rehydrate the product they actually um, tend to sort of repel the product and they make everything a bit funky so um, I do think this is worth the 30 bucks or whatever it is in Australia um, and this bottle is going to last me years you use a drop or two at a time and um, already since buying this I have revived a gel liner and a, and a brow product wearing the brow product today I wouldn't probably be able to use it without this so I feel like if you have gel products even things like um, ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, if they're getting a little bit dry, you can put a little bit of this on it. It sort of rehydrates it. So um, use it with lipsticks. You can use it with so many things. I think this is such a great product. I've missed it and I'm so glad it's back. So it's being featured in my favorites because it is a favorite. Bit of an update from possibly my last quarterly favorites. I did mention Fails in that one. This one I'm not going to mention Fails because I think all the Fails that I want to mention are predominantly elf ones. And I'm going to do a recap video talking about them anyway. So there's no point talking about them twice or spoiling my recap. So I'm going to save that for that video and just talk about favorites here. Um, but I think in my last video, I did talk about this sunscreen, which is from Neogen. And it's the, um, it's a UV tone up primer. So it's got like a purple tint to it. And I don't like this. I've been using it in my project pan to use it up and the way I've been using it which I have been loving to be fair and I might do a demonstration if anyone wants to see it um this is a purple tinted uh product that makes me look really like gray toned like ashy um which is surprising because I do I am quite fair but I, I can't wear this on its own um so what I've been doing with this is mixing it with either a high coverage foundation or a concealer that I'm trying to use up and I use that as sort of like a tinted base so what I do I do my skincare I do my sunscreen let that sit for a while and then I come back and I do my makeup and that includes a second layer of sunscreen so if you want to see me demonstrate that I think it works a lot better than tinted uh, products because you can sort of customize it and stuff anyway I don't like this but recently I did open up the blue one which is um just the original one now I bought these together um, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get so I wanted to try them both um, this one is great so this has been my daily sunscreen and I can tell you even though it does look blue when you squeeze it out and the other one looks purple um, when you blend this in it pretty much disappears to nothing so this is 
so much better. Um, the formula is quite nice. It sits nicely on oily skin. It sits nicely under um, foundation. It's a little bit hydrating, but it's also high UV protection. So I think it's um, SPF 50 plus. And this one, you can see translucent, comfortable, lovely. This one, white cast, nasty, not a fan. So, so an update to me disliking this is I love the blue one. The blue one's great. So uh, the product itself is not bad. It's just the tint that I don't get along with. But whether I use these as just an SPF or turn them into a tinted SPF, I think they work really lovely. So I like, the, I like this. All right, let's talk about some body products. I really want to talk about this. This is so random. I didn't know anything about this brand. I, um, a little while ago, I went to an event with a friend and I heard about this brand and I was like, I'd never heard of it. And it's been around for like 16 years. It's No More Sweat. Now that's a brand that's in Chemist Warehouse, uh, possibly elsewhere. They have different products. Like this is a spray. They also have deodorants. They have um, body creams. They have, you know, a whole bunch of different things. And as soon as I heard about them, I was like, that is intriguing. I want to go and buy one. And literally the next day I went and bought this. This is the No More Sweat Body Antiperspirant. This is supposed to stop you sweating for four to seven days. What? So pretty much you put it on at night after showering, which I shower at night. So it's easy to do. You dry yourself off, spray it on. I spray it like under my arms. If in summer, I'm going to spray this like under my boobs and stuff. Let's be real. Um, and this will stop you sweating and it's not like an antiperspirant where it blocks your pores. It uses a different type of science, um, but it stops you sweating for a few days. So I literally apply this like twice a week in the evenings. Sometimes I'll put on like a body spray in the morning just because I'm like, I feel like I need to put something on. But this really does work. And if you have like sweaty hands, I've got like a hand cream version. If you've got like a sweaty back, I don't know, sweaty arms, sweaty bum, I don't know. They've got like a body version, like a cream version that does the same thing. They've even got a face cream version. So this line was designed by someone whose daughter um, is an excessive sweater and it was a way to make her life a lot easier. So there's all these products that aren't conventional deodorants um, that are used to stop sort of sweating issues. I think it's just really cool. I think it's really interesting. So yeah, this I use twice a week. I try to, and sometimes I'll use like a body spray or something in the morning or like a natural deodorant um, because sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm surely going to be smelling, but it's been good so far. So this is very interesting. If you're a sweater or you just can't be bothered wearing like antiperspirant deodorant every day, give this brand a try. It's really cool. Another thing I bought from Chemist Warehouse. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. I have spoken about this um, because I did a video where some of you guys left recommendations. I want to try some. This was one of the recommendations. Really love this as a cleanser. I'm trying to use up one that I have in my shower at the moment, but this is one that I want to use. It's really lovely. It's not a cleansing oil, but it's a cleanser that has oil in it. So it's nice and gentle. It doesn't um, strip your skin. I do get irritated skin. So even though I want to thoroughly remove my makeup, um, I don't want it to like strip all the oils from my skin because I can get irritated skin. Um, this is really nice. It's designed for like um, sensitive skin. It's very thin. So it does lather a little bit, but it doesn't feel like you've got to wash it off like four times to remove all the soap. This is just a really pleasant experience. Really nice cleanser. Happy with it. It's a good cleanser. I like it. It also does remove makeup fairly well. I still go in with um, like a cleansing oil or cleansing balm step before I use this, but this does tend to, it's quite effective, but also gentle, which is great. Something that I probably should have talked about a bit earlier because this is something that I've been really loving lately. Um, I've used this before, but similar to Duraline, it's like a, not a rediscovery because I knew I loved Duraline, but I also knew I loved this. Um, it's by Embarchi and it is the Deep Exfoliant Pore Clarifying Skin Smoothing Microdermabrasion Exfoliating Scrub. I love this. Now, I've tried this in the past. I love it. I loved it. I used it up. It was great. Um, and recently I saw that they had a sale and I thought, look, I'll order it. They had free shipping. I'll order it uh, because I don't actually currently have a physical scrub in my house whatsoever. I have a chemical scrub, a chemical exfoliant, which I use most days. But sometimes you feel like you've got a bit of an oil buildup or whatever, and you want a bit of a one of these. You just want to be able to scrub off some of that dead skin. 
and that's why I like having a scrub around occasionally and this is such a good scrub oh my god I loved it so much that I actually then ordered another one not only do I really love the scent of it it's nice and fresh but this is like it looks like a cream you don't see the scrubby particles whatsoever it is like very 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 fine sandpaper like microdermabrasion um so if I put it like just put it on my hand you wouldn't even see the scrubby particles because they're so small and so dense that depending on how much you use you can tailor the scrub um, so you can actually put quite a lot on and really sort of work it in and you get more of that sort of buffing feel or you can use a little bit less sort of water it down a little bit and get just a gentle scrub but it doesn't have those really large particles that scratch your skin this is just such a nice sort of um polishing uh exfoliant i love it i love it so yeah i picked up two of those on sale because i loved it so much it smells nice it works really well i use this like maybe once or twice a week it's beautiful and whenever i step out of the shower after i've used it and then i put on my chemical exfoliant like the next day my skin is just like loves life so yeah that should have been mentioned a lot earlier in this video because it's one of my favorite products definitely of the past couple months another thing from chemist warehouse i think this is from chemist warehouse um this is just a body lotion that i've currently got next to my bed or it lives on that messy table this is the etch and ethos nourishing body lotion in summer citrus uh, this is a brand that's actually from ego ego does a few other brands that i quite like one is sunsense which is a great sunscreen um, and qv is another one which is a really basic um sort of skincare body face range so i think this is supposed to be their sort of branch trying to target the more natural australian sort of ingredients so this actually contains 94 percent naturally derived ingredients to me i don't really care about naturally derived ingredients but i just think this is a nice lotion it's very thin um, so it's not one of your heavy lotions like your body butters this is just like a nice light one that'd be really nice for summer um, so nothing too buttery it's just nice sort of thin but what i love about it is the scent so it actually says that it is um summer citrus which i don't really get to me it's like a sweet cucumber and it's just really refreshing so so i do have that next to my bed and um, at night sometimes I'll, I'll like put on my legs or my arms um this probably is better suited for summer i think it's nice fresh light watery um cooling so I might actually put this away and keep it for summer, but it's just a body lotion that I like. I didn't even know this brand was a thing, um, but it is, and it's nice. Another thing that I've been loving is, uh, and this is not a surprise, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, I think in my Bye 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 video, and also I did a fragrance collection video. This is my most recent love. Um, I have, I'm actually panning a fragrance, so I don't use this daily, but whenever I'm going out or I want to feel a little bit special i use this so it's sunflower pop by floral street now floral street makes it seem like it's a very floral, floral fragrance it does have some floral notes but it's predominantly citrus so it's like and fruity it's like passion fruit and citrus i'll put the notes on the screen i talked about it in that video i love it i want to put it on it's like just dousing yourself with like tropical passion fruit juice and it's very sweet but very sort of fun again it's going to be like my go-to fragrance for summer and i yeah want to give it another shout out even though i've mentioned it a few times on this channel because i love it uh one other thing that i one last thing that i haven't mentioned at all this is so random um this is a hand wash now i've got three bathrooms or two bathrooms and a toilet downstairs and i also have um at the like kitchen sink and in the laundry so i have hand washes everywhere so i need to like <laughs> buy hand washes in almost like bulk um because i have they're in so many places and in a pandemic you wash your hands quite a lot whatever whatever um this is one that i found uh in aldi on sale and i love it so this is the Dettol daintree rains hand wash i also saw this in woolworths i think the other day half price so if you're interested it's everywhere um it's grapefruit and citrus hand wash surprise surprise i love that um and it does kill 99.9 .9 of germs so it is the antibacterial detol one but it doesn't smell like it's antibacterial it just smells like like grapefruit juice it smells delicious i enjoy using this to the point where like i've got hand washes all around my house 
but often I'll go to my kitchen where this lives and I will use, I'll wash my hands at the kitchen because I want to use this one. Um, I also bought a big refill bottle so you can buy the refill bottles as well. And um, yeah, I don't know if they're still on sale at Aldi. I only bought this the other week, but um, I should have bought more is the moral to that story because I love it. But very easy to access, very effective, very lovely. If you like citrus scents, this is a good hand wash for you. So that Again, not sponsored, just love it. I think that's all the products I want to talk about. A lot of random things, uh, deodorant, hand wash, scrub, but that's why I like these videos. Those are the kind of things that I wouldn't mention uh, in a standalone video. So this is sort of like a recap of things that I've been thoroughly enjoying. Um, and I will list all the products in the description box if you missed anything and that's about it. So let me know what your favorite products over the last couple of months have been. Um, any recommendations? I'm in a spendy mood. It's really bad. I think it might be because it's been so cold. It's like I've been hibernating and just wanting, like I bought new sheets and I bought a new jumper and I've been buying like new stuff because I just want to be cozy and so I'm a bit yeah a bit spendy I have to admit so any good recommendations I'm interested in and I'll see you guys in the next one bye